everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. Today I'm gonna share with you how to make panna cotta. It's an Italian dessert. It sounds complicated, but it's so easy, and it's perfect for any special occasion, and especially the holidays. So let's get started. First things first, put one cup of whole milk into a medium saucepan and sprinkle the top with one packet of unflavored gelatin. You're gonna let that sit for a few minutes until that gelatin softens. Now we're gonna put that over medium low heat and stir it until the gelatin dissolves completely and your mixture is steaming. Make sure you don't boil the milk. Add in two cups of heavy whipping cream, half a cup plus a tablespoon of sugar, a splash of vanilla and a pinch of salt. Keep stirring, stirring, stirring until it's steaming again and then take it off the heat. You're gonna let that cool for about five minutes. Transfer your sour cream to a medium bowl. I like using one with a pouring lip. It makes it so much easier to serve. Now gradually add your warm cream while whisking. Also, I've found that if you let it rest for about 10 minutes, it helps to get rid of any bubbles that formed from whisking. I love how this looks in wine glasses, but you can use any pretty dish you like. Refrigerate these for about four to six hours or until they're fully set. Now on to that berry sauce, which is even easier than making the panna cotta. Start by putting one cup of fresh berries into a small saucepan. Stir in three tablespoons of sugar and half a tablespoon of lemon juice. Bring that to a low boil and continue cooking it for about four to five minutes or until it's syrupy. Now here's the secret to having the prettiest berry sauce you've ever laid eyes on. Add one cup of fresh berries. Just stir those in and take it off the heat. Look at that. Wow, my mouth is totally watering right now. Once your berry sauce is at room temperature or just barely warm, you can divide it evenly over the tops of your panna cottas. Of course, you can add a little mint or basil leaf to fancy it up. I had so much fun making this, but honestly, I think I'm gonna have even more fun eating it. So let's do this taste test. Oh, I love this. Every bite is covered with this delicious syrup. Mm. Yum. The panna cotta is so velvety smooth, and you can kind of taste that sour cream in there. It adds a great layer of flavor to this classic dessert. Wonderful. Um, you can print the recipe with a link below. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, and thanks for watching.